This is an ultrasound study of an unmarried 20 years old female with a history of uh, pain, severe excruciating pain radiating from the umbilical region to the uh, upper part of the left thigh with uh, Bukhar on the Okay. She is getting, uh, she is having injections, inter interferon therapy for uh, hepatitis C uh, infection. Can you do it again? For the last one month, she is getting antiviral therapy. Now this is the uterus, measuring 6.8 by 2.6 centimeters, which is a normal nulliparous si uh, uh, size. Yari of the And uh, this is uh, the endometrial canal is seen in this is the cervix, the upper lip, the lower lip, the cervical canal. No focal mass being seen, endometrial canal is in, is in proliferative phase as this is the endometrial canal. So the uterus is normal by all parameters. No history of uh, surgical intervention in the past. Here we see This is the right ovary with developing follicles within it. This is the right ovary, the urinary bladder, the uterus. <coughs> and when I rotate the probe towards the left, left side, now if you see, remember that this is the uh, right uh, ovary with, de with developing follicles in different stages. This is the uterus in transfer section, this area. And now I'm, when I am uh, angling the probe towards the left adenexa, or towards the left side, I see a uh, thin-walled, echo-filled cystic area. This one, measuring approximately 4.3 by 5.5 centimeters. Now, don't take the measurement as accurate because this is not the full view of the uh, cystic area. I, this, this was just to show you that there is a pathology in the region of the left adnexa. Now, what it is, <coughs> there is a cystic area, large cystic area, echo field that is extending from the region of the left adnexa right up to the here umbilical region up to the umbilical region. Uh, here now I am at the umbilical region, so I can see it up to the umbilical region. There is fluid fluid level. This is the this line is indicative of fluid fluid level. This is a clear fluid. This is the eco fluid. fluid. The cystic uh, mass is uh, thin walled, and we do not see much acoustic enhancement. And uh, now we can take an approximate measurement, which is, uh, uh, I will say, nine centimeter by eight centimeter is the uh, dimension of the mass. Here you see it's extending anterior to the uterus in the midline from the region of the left adnexa. This is here it is in the region of the left adnexa. Let's see what is the volume of this uh, mass. This is the longitudinal. And the approximate volume of this uh, ecofluid cystic area is 237 milliliters. However, when it is to be removed, surgical intervention is mandatory. In this case, the, uh, the volume will be more than uh, uh, 250 plus.
So this is the urinary bladder in fact, and this is the cystic mass extending from the region of the left adnexa. Here you see it once again. Here I am in the region of the left adnexa, where you can see the uterus as well. And from here, it extends anterior to the uterus, uh, anterior to the urinary bladder. This is the urinary bladder, and here it ends up in the region of the umbilical region. Now these are the right iliac vessels that are coursing posterior to this cystic area. These, uh, these ves this vessel is the right iliac vessel. This is the urinary bladder. Here we are. So this is the urinary bladder. When I move the probe towards the patient's head, straight here is the here comes the echophil cystic area with fluid level. Now the differentials, because I do not have any clinical uh, history nor do I have been provided with any other investigative procedure. So uh, lab profile is not with me. So keeping in view the history of oral history of the patient, verbal history of the patient. Uh, she has fever also, low grade she says this can be a cold abscess. This can be a, a tubo ovarian mass of infective nature and uh, this can be uh, this one originating because origi you see if this area is seen in the region of the uh, left adenexa with this being the this is the part of this uh, cystic area with this being the uterus uterine outline and this being the urinary bladder this is the urinary bladder. So most probably the differential will be the tubovarian mass of infective nature, maybe co cox infection or cold abscess. Second will be a left uh, hemorrhagic cyst because we do not see there are no calcification. No calcification is seen in the cyst. No solid element is seen within the cystic area. Now you you can make out make out the uh, posterior wall acoustic enhancement as this is the posterior wall acoustic enhancement. These are the eye vessels because this is the most spear part of the mass. Now coming down again, this is the urinary bladder. And this is a mass extending from the region of the left adenexa right up to the umbilical region with the fluid fluid level in it with posterior wall acoustic enhancement with no calcification, no solid element and uh, there is no uh, regional adenopathy. These are the iliac vessels. I have uh, gone through this uh, scan. I didn't see any ascites, no alcohol seen. I did not see any uh, periodic uh, plan lymph node. So, anyways, this is the case of the day. Thank you very much.